11 years old. I'm the founder of 10xgodakids.com. And if you like this video, don't forget to smash like button and share this video with as many people as you can. And if you're not subscribed to my channel yet, kindly do it so that you don't miss any of my videos. So without any delay, let's get started. And today we are gonna do a very, very interesting topic. Yes, guys, we are back. I'm back with a Java topic and it is called abstraction abstraction is a very interesting topic and we are gonna learn about it today so without any delay let's get started Dab! okay so so first we'll see what basically abstraction is so data abstraction is the process of hiding certain details so data abstraction is the process of hiding certain details and showing only essential information to the user so you only show essential information to the user right abstraction can be achieved with either uh, abstract classes or interfaces we we'll learn about interfaces in our next video but abstraction can be achieved with abstract classes that we are gonna do today right so the abstract keyword is basically a non-access modifier if you don't know what are modifiers do check out the modifier video it's very interesting so uh, basically abstract keyword is a, a non-access modifier and it is used for classes and methods both right so let's see what is the use of abstract keyword with classes so abstract class is a restricted class that can cannot be used to create objects so if you have an abstract class you cannot create objects with it so now you must be thinking if i want to create an object of an abstract class how will i do it right you must be thinking about it right uh, so like yeah you are thinking correct because if you want to create an object of an abstract class you have to access it in extend it like inherit that class from some another from another class like over here we have an abstract class animal and we are inheriting it with the plig class so you have to inherit it from the abstract you have to inherit the abstract class with any other class so that you can create a uh, basically uh, an object of it right so if you create an object of the inherited class it will already have all the uh, attributes and methods of the abstract class right that's why you'll get all the attributes and methods of the abstract class also if you just inherit it from any other class and then you create an object of that class that subclass right and now we'll see what does the abstract keyword do with the method right so it can only be used in the abstract class so abstract keyword with the method can only be used in an abstract class so the class also has to be abstract if you want an abstract method in it right and it does not have a body so it does not have a body you define um, you define its body or provide its body in the subclass that is the inherited class right right so uh, this is what is the definition right now we uh, uh, sorry sorry so uh, apps i'll just put it on my phone on silent right so n uh, now let's see what basically uh, abstract classes can have so an abstract class can have both abstract and regular methods so it can have both abstract methods like over here you have an abstract method in the abstract class or uh, and you can have regular methods also so like over here we have regular methods right so like over here in this example we have an abstract class which has an abstract abstract method that is nobody that we saw when we were uh, uh, seeing about abstract uh, keyword with methods that the an abstract method does not have a body and it can only be in an abstract class right so it has it does not have a body then we have the pig class that extends from animal and this defines a body to the animal sound right so it has now given a, the body to the animal sound 
right? And then in our main class, ah, oh, before me, I renamed it to big. I didn't see right. So in our main class, uh, we have a public method, uh, the main method, in which we are creating an object of the big big class right and then we are accessing its animal sound so you see the abstraction that was used over here over here this abstract method had no body we inherited this abstract class so that we can object so that we can create an object of it right because all its methods and properties uh, attributes are there in this uh, pig class right so now they are in the pig class that it's equivalent to create an create an object um, you'll get this uh, this classes uh, attributes and methods also and at the animal class attributes and methods also when you uh, create an object of the pig class so in a way you are creating an object of the animal class also right so over here in this we are giving a body to the animal sound method that we inherited right that was the abstract method we are giving in the it the body right we saw that we uh, when we were learning about uh, when we were seeing what abstract methods can do they can only uh, be used in an abstract class we learned and they don't have a body the body is provided in the subclass we learned this right so over here in this subclass we are providing the body right over here i've commented also that uh, this is the subclass and it inherited from the animal right and then finally we create a uh, created a pig object and just accessed its animal sound and then accessed an animal sound method and then access the sleep method that was also uh, inherited from our animal class right the sleep method was also inherited from the animal class right so uh, when we access the sleep method of my pig it, it will show zzz because we didn't change it or override it using polymorphism um, and uh, uh, it will show uh, the pig says we we right because we define the body of the animal sound in this class right we define the body of it and then we act called it so it will basically show us um, we we the pig says we we right so you see uh, you see we get the pig says we we and zzz, right so this was what we ex expected right so, uh, okay so so to create an abstract class it must be uh, right so over here we it is inherited right so let's move on and now we'll see why should we uh, why and when we should use abstract classes and methods why should you use abstract classes and when should you use abstract classes right so to achieve security and hide certain details and only show the important details of an object you use abstract classes and methods so if you want to achieve some security hide certain details and only show the important details of an object then you can use abstraction there is also a topic named interfaces that we'll cover in the next video and that is also used to achieve abstraction right so we are getting the correct result and this was it guys this was abstraction thank you guys if you like this video don't forget to smash like button and share this video with as many people as you can thank you guys bye stay safe stay healthy and keep watching my videos damn